youth destroy Ondo Monarch's palace for converting to Christianity. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The carried leaves, palm leaves, and play cards as the march through some streets in the of the community. The youth and some others have attacked the Onikun of Ikun, Oba Olukunbola Adedoi, over his decision to convert to Christianity and parade himself as a born again Christian. According to the nation, the youth also accused the monarch of refusing to perform rituals according to laid down norms and tradition. It was gathered that the incident happened in Ikun Akoko, Akoko Southwest Local Government Area of Ondo State. The youth and others invaded the palace of the monarch to protest his alleged conversion to Christianity. The protesters alleged that the non chalat attitude of their monarch was responsible for the incessant premature death of premises sons and daughters in the community. They carried leaves, palm leaves, and placards as they marched through some streets of the community. They also alleged that important rituals to ward off the calamities from befalling the town have been neglected. A petrol station owned by the Oba was touched by the protesters. Oba Adedoyi, who absconded the throne 19 years ago, who ascended the throne 19 years ago, said he had been trying his best to attract development to the town. The monarch said the protesters threatened to kill him and his son before they raised his petrol station. The equal monarch said an attendant at the petrol station was inflicted with injuries and three generators valued at 1.5 billion naira were vandalized. He described himself as a prayer warrior with others that have been praying for Ikum Akoko. Police sources confirm that some persons have been arrested and will be arranged to court soon. Ondo police spokesman DSP Fumalayo Odunlami could not be reached for comment. Nawa, Nawa, Nawa. Ha. Now, so this is, it can, it can be this as in, it can attract such Kamal calamity. Why I'm saying this is because um, I know this, uh, once you're a monarch, you're a traditionalist. Do you understand? Once you're a monarch, you're a traditionalist. So if you convert, it can attract this, uh, it can be this, if you attract this kind of calamity. Now, be say many, many of uh, the communities today that are, uh, what's it called? We'll be saying they don't already, they converted already. Nah, they don't know what they God do for them. Oh. And they tell you, as in they're, they're monarch. Ha! They say Muslim are the same and everyone, they are too violent. Nobody will criticize anyone when a Christian convert to Muslim. But the rest of the case was Islam. I beg me gonna change on a violence lifestyle. Well, except you did not put your head down to know that it's a monarch that's converted. It's not a, it's somebody that did not, did not uh, convert from, uh, what's it called, Islamic to Christianity. Mm -mm. The person is a monarch, meaning the person, once you're a monarch, you become a traditionalist. So he say no one do as in they do, as maybe in forefathers they do again, that he has found the light. <laughs> All right. What the Muslims do in Undo for destroying the monarch's palace because he converted to Christianity, it is a demonstration of what happened to Christians when the all progressive Congress government succeed with the agenda of Muslim to Muslim ticket, which they want to use Tunubu's money to achieve. Just like they were to use MK Wabiola to do it in NPN, these are the same people that slaughtered the innocent people in churches in Undo. Do not let ourselves in Nigeria. Do not dis do not let do not let us deceive ourselves. Nigeria is never won. I say again, if you are a monarch, automatically you are a traditionalist and not whether of Christian or Muslim religion. All right. Ondo is not just for Christians alone. In fact, this monarch should should be stressed, should be traced and killed. Or if the government will not allow the youth, will not allow the youth to kill him, they should resign to allow the peace to reign. It'd be like saying you don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. It'd be like saying you don't understand what is it in the talk. Or are you saying because he converted? Now, wow. Hmm. Every man has a right to worship what is okay for him or her. It is useless and lazy that fight what they do not. Exactly. I don't think you understand what he's saying. Okay. Why they not ask him to abdicate the throne instead of taking laws into the hands? Exactly, my brother. 
The day I approach him and tell him, oh, God, since you are no longer going to be, you're not practicing the religion, I mean, the, the tradition of our fathers and our forefathers. Can you just, you know, humbly step down instead of doing these things? Is it that they, they, they did it before they th- th- thought? Ha, now what? This is not a large path to tread. If it becomes extremely important that he must perform the traditional rites of rituals and by his will of religious faith refuse to do so, he should be convinced to give up a throne as done in other places. Exactly. Instead of you come out and person don't okay, you have you don't you don't you don't you don't destroy properties. So I'm not going to be surprised if somebody dies out of this particular incident. And then now tomorrow you hunt the answer, my lord, may I may I my lord, uh, guilty or not guilty. For waiting be say dialogue would have been the best as in nothing needed to be destroyed. Now wow. Now wow. To hell with that king for trying to convert from Islam to Christianity. He must deserve it. Thanks for taking action by the community. You be like say no read the news well. Or your religious bigotry has be clouded your, your, your eyes as well. <laughs> Not just your your rationality. <laughs> okay. You cannot eat okay and still have it. You cannot serve God and serve sin at the same time. When I started to be king, he knew the journey he was in Bacillon. Dalang fruit, the warrior. Nahim won kill him now. If you really want to serve the Lord, let him abdicate the throne. Exactly. But the thing is, I know follow talk say that long through the warrior more. Uh-huh. It is very possible that she would have encountered the man, uh, uh, the man, you know, was the king for how, is, or is the king for how many years? You don't think now. Okay. Where has religion become a factor in and who becomes monarch? Don't forget that it is an inheritance, and irrespective of your religion, you can become a king or queen. The late and longest serving. My own two cents here is, you know, two things are involved. Have they spoken to the monarch and say, Baba, you have to step down? You understand? Have they spoken with him and he said, no, I am not stepping down? If they have not spoken to him, then there is a problem. You understand? But if they have spoken to him and he said he's not coming, then not, even at that, it does not give them the right to start vandalizing things. Abba. It does not. I understand their grievances. You know, if you want switch, if you want change people now, if you want change some things, they're not going to take it lightly. Yes. But they did not go about it the right way. Now, then go to cool themselves inside prison. Or for court, the answer, guilty or not guilty. I, I do not think they saw the sun coming, sure. We as religion become a factor in who becomes a monarch. Don't forget that it's an inheritance and irrespective of a religion, you can become a king or queen. The late and longest serving queen, Elizabeth of England, was until her death a Christian. Was there anything wrong with her choice of religion? Why are you still backward to this very point of doubling into an issue like this when you're supposed to discuss issues that affect nations? continent and the world at large grow above this please okay well, on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning me to listen until i come you'll be next time enjoy the rest of your day